हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस पावर इन अ प्योरली इंडक्टिव सर्किट एंड पावर इन अ प्योरली कैपेसिटिव सर्किट लेट इज फर्स्ट डिस्कस पावर इन अ प्योरली इंडक्टिव सर्किट वी नो दैट इंस्टेंटेनियस पावर इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इंस्टेंटेनियस वोल्टेज एंड इंस्टेंटेनियस करेंट सो इंस्टेंटेनियस पावर पी कैन बी रिटर्न एज इंस्टेंटेनियस वोल्टेज स्मॉल वी इन टू इंस्टेंटेनियस करेंट स्मॉल आई and we know that in case of purely inductive circuit the value of the instantaneous voltage is vm sin omega t and the value of the instantaneous current comes out to be im sin omega t minus pi by 2 now sin omega t minus pi by 2 can be written as minus cos omega t so this comes out to be minus vm im divided by 2 into sin 2 omega t that is we have multiplied and divided this term by 2 so 2 times of sin omega t into cos omega t can be written as sin 2 omega t now if we want to calculate the power for the whole cycle then we will have to integrate this equation within the limits from 0 to capital t that is from 0 to 2 pi so the value of power for the whole cycle will be capital p is equal to minus vm im by 2 integral of 0 to 2 pi into sin 2 omega t into dt and if we carry out the integration of sin 2 omega t dt within the limit 0 to 2 pi then it comes out to be 0 so we find that the power for whole cycle is 0 that is the average demand of power from the supply for one complete cycle is 0 so there is no consumption of power in a purely inductive circuit if power is positive during a certain half cycle then it is negative during the next half cycle as a result of which the average power consumed over the full cycle is zero the positive power implies the supply of energy to the magnetic field and negative power implies that the energy is supplied back by the magnetic field this will be clear from the graphical representation of power as shown in the figure a so this is figure a where we have plotted all the three alternating quantities that is the instantaneous voltage v instantaneous current i and the instantaneous power small p so in case of an inductor this is the plot of the voltage and the current lags behind the voltage by 90 degree so this is the plot of the instantaneous current now if you want to find the value of power then we will multiply the value of voltage and current at at each of the instant to find the value of the power that is the graph of power will be obtained by multiplying the value of the voltage and the current at each of the time interval so here we find that v is zero so the power will be zero because in this case current is negative so when v is zero then v into i will be zero similarly here in this case current is negative here voltage is positive so positive into negative will give negative so power will be negative similarly we find that in at this point again current is zero so if we multiply voltage with this zero current then again power will be zero so from 0 to pi by 2 we will get the plot of power as shown here so as it is clear this is negative power similarly during this interval that is from 90 degree to 180 degree if we plot the value, the power wave from the values of the current and the voltage we find that both the current and the voltage are having positive values so voltage multiplied with current will give positive power again at this point voltage is zero so current when multiplied with the zero voltage will again will be zero so we will get power positive power from 90 to 180 degree again we find that 
from 180 degree to 270 degree one of the quantity is negative as a result of which the power will be negative again here current is zero so again the power will become zero at this point now at this point again we find that both the uh, current and the voltage are negative are having negative values so negative into negative will give positive so we will get positive power during this interval that is from 270 to 360 degree so we find that during one complete cycle during one complete cycle <coughs> we have equal positive and the negative power as a result of which we get the average power value equal to zero that is why in a purely inductive circuit there is no consumption of power in a purely inductive circuit and from this graph we find that the power wave is also a sine wave the power wave is also a sine wave but it has double the frequency that of the voltage and the current wave and the maximum value of the instantaneous power is Vm im by 2. Also from this expression we find that this is sine 2 omega t whereas in the expression for uh, voltage and current we find that it is sine omega t. So the power wave is also a sine wave but it has double the frequency that of the current and the voltage wave and the maximum value of this power wave is given by Vm im by 2 that is this is the amplitude of the power wave. Now let us discuss the power in a purely capacitive circuit. So just like inductive circuit the instantaneous power in this case will also be equal to the product of the instantaneous voltage and the instantaneous current. So instantaneous power small p can be written as instantaneous voltage small v into instantaneous current small i. If we substitute the value of v as vm sin omega t and the value of i in case of capacitive purely capacitive circuit comes out to be im sin omega t plus pi by 2. So we have substituted the values of v and i in this equation then we get the value of small p that is instantaneous power will be equal to vm sin omega t into im sin omega t plus pi by 2. Now sin omega t plus pi by 2 can be written as cos omega t. So this comes out to be vm im into sin omega t into cos omega t. Now we have multiplied this expression by 2 and we have divided it also by 2. That is we are multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 2. So this will come out to be 2 times of sin omega t into cos omega t into vm im divided by 2 and from trigonometry we know that 2 sin omega t into cos omega t can be written as sin 2 omega t. Now if we want to find the power for the whole cycle then we will just integrate this within the limit from 0 to 2 pi that is for one cycle that is from within the time period 0 to t or 0 to 2 pi. So if we find out the value of this integration we find that this comes out to be 0 that is the value of the power for the whole cycle is 0 that is the value of the average power or the or true power for one complete cycle is equal to 0. So we find that in purely capacitive circuit the average demand of power from the supply is 0 just as in case of purely inductive circuit and we also find that the power wave in this case is also a sine wave having double the frequency that of the voltage and the current wave and the maximum value of the instantaneous power is Vm im by 2 as will be clear from the figure B. So from figure B we have plotted the uh, instantaneous voltage, instantaneous current and power in case of purely capacitive circuit. So this is the graph of instantaneous voltage and in case of uh, capacitive circuit the current leads the voltage so this is the graph of the instantaneous current now if we find out the power by taking the product of v and i at each and every 
values of time we find that during this interval we will get positive power because both v and i are positive here v is 0 so power would be 0 at this point your current is 0 so power will be 0 at this point and from this point to this point we will get a the positive power similarly within this interval we will get negative power here power would be again 0 at this point again from this interval to this interval both v and i are negative so we will get negative into negative positive power again here power becomes 0 because current is 0 here similarly at this point again we find that power will be 0 because voltage is 0 at this point and power is the product of v and i so i multiplied by 0 will get 0 here during this interval we find that uh, the current is positive and the voltage is negative so positive positive into negative will give negative so in, during this interval we will get negative power so we find that in one half cycle we get one uh, positive and one negative then again in the next half cycle again we get positive and negative as a result of which the average power over one complete cycle comes out to be zero so it is clear from these two uh, graphs that the uh, average demand of power from the supply is zero in case of purely inductive circuit as well as in case of purely capacitive circuit.